The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The psalmist reminds us of this each and every day. Good morning to all of you, and thank you for joining us today for our devotion time. It's Tuesday, March 1st, another start of another month. Time seems to be flying by, but we are so glad that you're joining us today. I'm Vicar Recker, speaking to you from St. John's Lutheran Church in Barry Mills, Wisconsin. Let's now begin our time this morning by going to the Lord in prayer. And let's do that by using Martin Luther's morning prayer. We pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. How do you like to start your morning? For me, every morning it starts with that first sip of coffee and sitting in my favorite spot in my house. Maybe for some of you, it's going for a nice walk early in the morning and seeing the sun come up, hearing the birds, feeling the cool, crisp air against your face. Maybe for some of you, it's just having that quiet house to wake up to or making breakfast for your spouse or your children before school. Maybe for some of us, it's going to the gym early in the morning before anyone else and putting on your favorite music while you get a good workout in. Whatever it is, for most of us, we try to find that moment in our day, maybe it's only for a few moments, but we all try to find it, where we find that moment of peace, a moment of peace and quiet, a moment of peace in our day, where we might not worry about the day for a little while. This morning, I'd like for us to take some time to focus on what is really important for you and me. That's super important at this very moment. So let's take a moment to explore more about what makes those fruits of the Spirit so wonderful. We've been talking about the fruits of the Spirit, those gifts that are given to you and me all by God's grace. And we talked about some of those fruits which Paul mentions in his letter to the Galatians. Those fruits like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But today we're going to be talking about peace. Boy, is that a tough word to use these days, isn't it? Right now, as I'm speaking, there are millions of people in our world who want nothing more than to have peace. Peace from terror. Peace from war. Peace from enemies. Peace for loved ones who don't know if they're going to make it to their next week. It can be difficult to find peace in this world. You know, when we talk about peace, it's easy to sometimes think of a peace that might be a temporary thing. 
we might say to ourselves, if only I could have a little peace and quiet around here. If only we could have world peace. Then things would be so much better. Is that what peace does? Does it only bring comfort for a little while? Sadly, sometimes our minds focus on the peaceful things that we want right now, that are only going to make us feel comfortable right now. Sometimes we, in our sinful minds, in our earthly minds, we think of a type of peace that's only going to be temporary. I wonder if Jesus' mind was thinking about peaceful things on the night that he was in the upper room with his, with his disciples. Imagine you're sitting with Jesus. Maybe your mind is peaceful because you're with Jesus. You're singing hymns with him. You're enjoying a nice Passover celebration with him. And as you're with Jesus, you would have heard these words, which Jesus spoke in John 14, verse 27. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You know, Jesus could have very easily made things much more peaceful for himself by maybe avoiding his father's plans for him. He could have very easily made other plans. But instead, Jesus' thoughts, his words, his actions, they were on something much more important. They were on you. Jesus was thinking about you. He was thinking of a different kind of peace, a peace that lasts in eternal peace. Jesus says that the world gives and offers a different kind of peace, a peace that only lasts for a short amount of time. But here in that upper room, in that crucial moment in history, Jesus gave to us a peace that's eternal. A peace that knows no conflicts. A peace that knows no fighting or strife or anger. That's the peace that Jesus gives to you. That he won for you. Yes, there might be moments in our lives where peace seems like it's the furthest thing from certainty in our lives. We're living through it right now. But Jesus is reminding us that he has overcome the world. He tells us to take heart, to find peace in him. Because it's Jesus who gives us a peace that really matters, that truly matters, a gift that really matters. Peace is that fruit of the Spirit that will always last. Let's pray about that. Most gracious and merciful Father, we come to you in our time of most utmost need, where we need peace. 
right now there are those who may not know what p true peace really is. There are people in our world that need your peace at this moment in history. Comfort them. Give them a sense of peace that only you can provide. Calm the brokenhearted. Lift up the crushed. And be with those who may not know peace. Because you are the Prince of Peace. You are the ruler of the whole universe. You are our Savior. Be with us. Strengthen us each and every day according to your good and gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Once again, we thank you for joining us for our devotion time this morning. Just have a few announcements for you. First of all, we're going to be starting this week, the season of Lent. We're kicking off the season of Lent, reflecting on what Jesus' peace truly means for us. And we're going to be doing that by beginning our midweek Lenten services, which are starting, going to be starting at 7 p.m. So please come and join us every Wednesday during Lent for our uh, midweek Lenten services. We're also going to be having a midweek Lenten meal for that. Uh, please come and join us for that. It's going to be uh, from 5 p.m. until 6.45. So please come and join us for that time where we can gather together, uh, have fellowship, and have a nice meal uh, before we worship our Savior for midweek Lenten services. Those are all the announcements I have for you. Let's now close with the blessing of our God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.